come on, sit down. Let's hang out. Cause we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Welcome to the Ponder Couch. Hello and welcome to the Ponder Couch. Today, I'm in the Ponder Kitchen to make and taste a Flaming Homer. Made famous in the Season 3 episode of The Simpsons called Flaming Moe's. Now, I've tried the Flaming Moe energy drink and the Flaming Moe actual drink from Universal Studios. But those are a little different. Neither of them tasted like I expect this one will taste. In the episode... Homer is telling Mo about an evening he spent with Patty and Selma at his house where they were showing him a slideshow and he left to go get a beer but there was none left. He took all of the bottles of liquor he had and put the last little bits into a blender and mixed it together. I'm going to do that now. Now, Homer says that in his haste, he grabbed a bottle of uh, children's cough syrup and added it. Now, I don't have any crusty non-narcotic non cough syrup, but I do have Dimetap for children. So I'm going to add a little bit of that and see what happens. Look at that. It did turn kind of purple. I didn't think it would. Well, I'm going to pour some of this and take a taste. Bottoms up. Interesting. And he's right, I didn't go blind. I've brought it out here onto the ponder deck just in case it is very flammable. I don't think it's going to be. I haven't had luck with this in the past, but let's see. nothing. Back to the ponder couch to close out my review. The Flaming Homer. Is it flammable? No. At least not the way I made it. Maybe crusty brand non-narcotic cough syrup is a little more flammable than Dimetap for children. How does it taste? Okay if you like Dimetap. But I wouldn't recommend mixing this up very routinely. Probably not very good to mix that many different kinds of alcohol in one glass. For more reviews, comics, and other stuff, check out pondercouch.com. The secret ingredient is cough syrup. Nothing but plain, ordinary, over-the-counter children's cough syrup. <laughs>